What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to Breathage. So, if you guys don't remember, we played this about a year ago, actually. It's when the first chapter came out. Well, they added chapters two and three. So, uh, we're going to actually go ahead. We're going to start from the beginning because I don't really remember anything that happened. I don't even know, remember how to play, honestly. So, uh, we're going to hop in. We're going to go to uh, standard. The best game mode is a moderate one. Or there's story. Emphasis on storyline, infinite parameters, but death is still possible. Achievements disabled. Impossible permanent death, no hands. There's no point in wasting your time with this one. <laughs> Free. No restrictions or deaths. Everything is available. The storyline and achievements are disabled. Okay, so. Um, I think the standard one is probably the one we want to go with. I'm actually kind of curious about the storyline, but we'll go with the standard one. Uh, we'll go ahead and play the intro. Again, that way we can kind of see what's going on and like everything. But um, yes, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Sub subscribe, subscribe. That's a rough word right there. But uh, yes, it's humorous, it's funny, and fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. From the creators of The Matrix. <laughs> There's been no news lately. <laughs> uh, we're being taken somewhere by robots. I remember this. Searching for this font took up half the development time. <laughs> Director, isn't needed here at all. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, the Red Ruins software team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. And therefore we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. Yay, censorship. He gets a carrot. <laughs> Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him R2-D3. R2-D3. <laughs> I like it. Ow! Uh, so these dudes are like coffins. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Uh, okay, we're going to spit on him, apparently. <laughs> Windshield wipers. Reet, <laughs> reet. Now, I don't know if they're coffins or if they're cryo chambers. The Maybe they're coffins. They're probably coffins. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Okay, you fly to the funeral. And, um, yeah, so it's a coffin. Okay, so here we go. Year 2073. Somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. Very descriptive. Oh, look at that. We're on the unnamed rocket. Interstellar liner. Un named your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here <laughs> i love things like that it's just so funny it's it's the humor is great oh why is he in his suit if he's in his thing and there's a chicken wonderful chicken green universe broccoli attack Universe. Oh, we're attacked. We were attacked by broccoli. Oh no! Bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. No important person that I love for some reason that I don't know who you are, Grandpa, Dad, anybody. And a whole lot of debris. Oh. Breathage. Chapter one, lost in space. So we did go through the last cha the chapter one uh, previously. It was, I think, a few episodes long, but um, I think we're just going to start over. To me, oh, it was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. <laughs> I could not see the logo from space. <gasps> oh. OK, so same thing. Oh, we're waking up. We're coming too. We have gum stuck to our visor. We have a chicken. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before oh. we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Okay. So escape, move, equip item slot, fly F is fly. What? Left hand, right hand, flashlight, accelerate, control down, alt is stabilized, shift is up or jump, 
return item, tabs inventory, and achievements. Okay, cool. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. <laughs> we put the chicken on the gas leak. Oh no, it's coming out of his butt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's too funny. Okay, hold on. Where's that piece of gum at? When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Calling it an inventory, if you will. Press tab to open your inventory. Your pocket. Uh, bind. Slot one. Get somewhere except for your face. And plug. You deserve some words of encouragement. Hey, we did it! Achievement unlocked. Survivor. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Okay, where's the music? I can't, I can't do the music. Wait, there wasn't music before. Why is there music now? All right, so the music got better, but it's hilarious. Uh, so find the interphone or get depressed. I like how there's no words. There's no actual words. That's hilarious. Let's use the interphone. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. Okay. Wait. How do you turn the? Uh, switch off. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, we did a thing. We did a thing. Okay. Check the antenna. We have to go into outer space now. Fantastic. Okay. It's all coming back. Radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Oh, that's not good. Um, and then there's little pieces of everything floating everywhere. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna. Very. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. <laughs> now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. <laughs> oh, it's like good job. You broke the thing. Now we have to do something else. Okay. Do this let's get this let's get this fixed uh wait can i go through here no what was that supposed to go of the a steering wheel established communications okay was it on the front where oh it looks like the steering wheel you need to try to connect to it Okay, examine. Nope, stop. Stop moving! Great news. Using my ingenious two digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. <laughs> Remember that you are still able to become depressed. It'll take five years with your current skill set. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love the humor. The quirky humor is funny. Okay. So, um,. Oh no, I was supposed to go in there. Okay, never mind. All right, so we gotta go to, oh, what's this? Uh, drill blueprint. Oh, hey. Look at that. Look at that, we learned the drill. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, craft a debugging station. Tools, cryptographic debugging station. We need uh, two metal and some wire. Fantastic, so. There's metal floating around out here. Uh, what is this? Grandpa's mug? <laughs> um, okay, I need metal. These are all... This is ice, right? Oh, that's that's nutrient goo. Where's all, where's all like the little metal pieces at? What is this? Break? Oh, you need a handy scrapper. Darn it. Oh, here's a little piece of metal. Ooh, piece of metal. Um, okay, I need more than that, though. Oxygen is not unlimited. I'm aware. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, we got some. We got some dog beer. Oh, what is this? Physics in 50 volumes. Neato. Let's take that. Do we do? Do we? Do we get anything from that? Oh, we got another book. Can't open it though. Doesn't say anything on it. Hey, we got another book. <laughs> I guess that's the thing. Uh, spacesuit stand, empty fabric. Ooh, ooh, piece of fabric. All right, let's get some. We need some wire too, though. Hmm. I need a handy scrapper. It looks like too. I need a piece of metal. See, we need to break that though, but we don't have a scrapper to break it. Oh, piece of metal. Oh, another piece of metal. 
Oh, another piece of metal. Some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visibility deterioration. Oh, that's not good. So stay away from the cold stuff. Got it. All right, so I need some wire still. And I think wires typically on like these right here. But I need to vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my neutralize. Can't guarantee the safety of your course before the arrival of the funeral. We neutralized with a chicken. It's an electric chicken. Um. Okay, come on. Uh oh. Oh, I need oxygen. Uh, I didn't get any wire from that. I needed wire from that. I didn't get any. Uh oh. Quickly. All right, we're good. I, wires on the ends of those things. I know it is, but I didn't get any. Okay. We're going to find it. We're going to find it. There's wire here somewhere. Oh, hey, we have a survival guide. A humorous survival guide recorded by one of grandpa's friends. They even cut some shout outs from some movie. Put it in there. Um. Okay. Take. Insert videotape. Oh, hey. Right there's a survival guide. To pee or not to pee? Uh-oh. What does that even mean? <laughs> so dangerous, so unpredictable, just like your bladder. Uh. In space, you can find yourself left without most valuable equipment at the most important moment. Tip number one. Oh, gosh! This is wrong! Try to keep it all in. Thoughtless way. <laughs> there... This is wrong. Explore the environment in search of AIDS or an animal. <laughs> okay, tell me to, yeah, cool. I need to get stuff and do things. <laughs> this is wrong. Collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. Oh. I already learned that. <laughs> Use the chicken. Oh, also the chicken never dies. It's an immortal chicken. In case you guys were worried about the chicken, it's fine. Whoa! Hold on. What was that? What was that room? Um. Okay. Interesting. What was that room? I wonder if that's like the next chapter. Is that did they give us a, like a room to build in? Um. Okay. I need wire. And I know wires like on the electrical things. I'm just trying to figure out where's the closest electrical deal is. Maybe in there. Maybe. Let me get max oxygen and then head in there and hope for the best. All right. We're going after it. We're going in here. Or right here. Hopefully there's oxygen. Okay, so I have 50 oxygen. That means at 25 I need to turn back. The largest condom in the world and also an emission of gas, most likely oxygen, are detected ahead. <gasps> Wire! No data on the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. <laughs> All right, we gotta go back. <laughs> the largest condom in the world. <laughs> oh, that's when we're gonna turn our... Uh, we're going to turn our oxygen tank. That's what our oxygen tank is going to be made out of. Oxygen is not unlimited. Okay. Okay, I got a wire. How many pieces of wire do I need? Uh, equipment. Items. No. Yes. Cryptographic debugging station. Alright, we made it. We did a thing. Um, okay, so equipment. Yeah, oxygen balloon. Just an oxygen balloon. Nothing more. Nothing less. <laughs> Alright, uh, pick up the debugging station. Got it. We did it. Now what? If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. Oh! If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements <laughs> to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. <laughs> it was... It's a handy scrapper. It's it's not a debugging station. It is a debugging station. 
Because you smack it with a handy scrapper. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. So let's go let's go fix this thing, shall we? Oh, I was supposed to hit that thing. Man. I keep doing that. I keep thinking I need to go outside and then it's like, no, you're you're good. Inside is fine. Alright, let's use debug. Debug. Hey! We did it! Call for help. Attention survivors, the rescue shuttle Hope was sent for you from the nearest evacuation point. Do the slight engine malfunction of the rescue. The rescue was arrival time what? exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. <laughs> okay. So, equipment. Uh, tools, items, objects, stations. And crap imposed by the developers. Refined metal times two, wire, thick electrical tape. Okay. So, uh, resources, refined metal. Guess what? I already have the stuff for that. What? Now? Um, and then composite materials. Tools, items. Oh, now we have to make a handy scrapper because we didn't have a handy scrapper before. Resources, composite. Well, how do I make the tape then? Thick electrical tape, ref refined metal times two, and wire. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna need a handy scrapper. So let's go get some more metal and make a handy scrapper. That will be fun. Oh, it's Bay. It's Bay. Incredible. Survived one. I see your avatar online. <laughs> uh, okay, here's the metal. Possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. <laughs> oh. Spoiler warning, it's not actually anybody. <laughs> it's just somebody trying to kill me. All right, um, use this. Equipment, tools, handy scrapper. Perfect, durability is 35, very nice. Equip that to slot numero uno. That will give us the ability to make, or to break down some of this other metal stuff. Like this, there we go. Oh. I guess we could make water too, huh? Hmm, that's just a minor thing. All right, now, looked around, nothing super amazing. Uh, what did I need for this? Plastic times two and thick electrical tape. Okay, so, resources, thick electrical tape, easy enough. But I need two plastic, so that means I'm gonna have to go get it from somewhere else. And we have one right there, all right. Sweet, oxygen tank is next. Let's see, we need plastic though. That means I need to find something that's going to have plastic. Anything? Oh, oh! Piece of plastic? It's metal. Uh, hmm, not, not seeing any plastic anywhere. This is, uh... Oh, there's a box right there. Can I break open the box? Nope. Okay. Ooh, we got stuff over here. Analysis of the destruction. Most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics. The reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Oh, oh, nutrient packages, some water. Um. Okay, I'm not talking to you. You are a thing. No, I broke my handy scrapper. Darn it. Ah, oh, <laughs> waited all the way over there for nothing. Okay, we're gonna go make another handy scrapper. All right, we're going back down here. I think I need a scanner, but I don't have... I don't have the scanner yet, and I'm not exactly sure how to get it yet either. So, let's go back over here. Let's see if there's anything laying here that we could possibly use or pick up or see or anything. Break. Oh. Okay, never mind. Let's break the door. Uh, The scrapper is not going to make it. <laughs> no! Oh. Okay. We need another scrapper, guys. <laughs> Alright, I made two scrappers. Because you never know. You never know. We don't want to have that happen again. Okay, so apparently we're just going to break this door down. And hopefully find something good on the inside. And we are in! There can be no mistake here. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Nice! It can be used for long distance flights if you don't break it. Awesome. Uh, broken oxygen station. Examine. Carefully remove the station by removing two screws. Oxygen station unlocked. At least now you 
have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. Yeah, but this room has oxygen in it too, which is super nice. Uh, let's let's neutralize the electricity. Chicken. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, okay, let's see. Since we have oxygen in here, let's just uh, kind of peek around a little bit. Is there anything else good? Hmm. Doesn't look like there's like anything in here. If we had if we had some uh, some shears, we could get some rubber out of this, but. We don't even have that either. Oh my goodness! Just stop moving. You hit Alt, and it'll stop you from moving. H hey, hence the uh, stabilize thing. Man, I w it's amazing. If I would have just you know read the the tutorial and like the instructions, I would have known that. <laughs> All right, so we have an oxygen station. I still don't have a scanner or shears. I don't know how to get those. I don't know what I need for them. All right, so tools, shears. Wonderful. Yes, we did a thing. There's shears on a stick too. Even better. So now we can go get some more uh, rubber from, I think there's, yeah, rubber over here. And then that will, oh, there's, there was metal right there. There's aluminum right there, okay. Oh, see, amazing. Look at that. Would you just, would you just look at it? Look at that. We got rubber. Easy peasy. Um, okay. So what else is, what's next? What is that? Scissors. More scissors. <gasps> Was there scissors really chilling there the whole time? Oh man, I missed them. <laughs> no wonder I had such a hard time finding scissors. They were there the whole time. Okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted. So... Our, where is it? Objects, stations, thick electrical tape, items, resources, thick electrical tape. Okay, so we can make one of these guys. Objects, stations, oxygen station. All right, so um, I think from what I remember last time is there is a good spot to put this in, and it's pretty much straight out this way. Because we're going to have to go over here for a lot of things. So pretty much we take it out to here to the limit and then place it. That way we can go straight here, get auction, and then go wherever we need to from then on. But it's not infinite. You have to refill it. So we have to keep that in mind too. All right. So we'll go ahead and put this right here. I recommend that you investigate the vicinity of radiation protective equipment for flying to the evacuation zone. Okay. So we're going to refill our oxygen. And then... I don't think we can make it all the way over there. So let's start heading back. Um, and then we're going to need another one. There's more hand handcuff stuff over there. So we might need to check that out. What's that thing? Huh. We'll check that out too. And we are safely back in our shuttle. Okay, cool. So we put our first oxygen deal. Oh, let me in here. <laughs> I was going to die. Uh, we put our first oxygen deal right over there. So that'll work. Um, now we do have to refill those every now and then because they only have 500 auctions, so we could use it, you know, a few times. Um, but that's actually in this episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, next episode, we're going to continue on. We're going to press on. And I would imagine it's going to be probably two more episodes and we'll finish chapter one because I've, I've finished it before. So I kind of have an idea of what we're doing ish. So it won't take very long for that. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys are enjoying. Is this a game that you guys would be interested in seeing or playing? Um, I'll have a link down below uh, to the Steam page if you guys are interested. But um, yes, that is that is it. That's our first episode of Breath Edge since the... Up oh, there's no Wi-Fi over there. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, you have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!